I'm with John Pagano, the CEO of the Red Sea Development Company. How does the Red Sea project meet Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030 targets? Well, thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here at WTM this year. Um, let's start with what Vision 20, 2030 really sets to, to accomplish, and that is they want to diversify the economy. That's one of the major objectives of Vision 2030, as well as creating a vibrant society and new employment opportunities for Saudis. So how the Red Sea Project delivers on those commitments is we know that tourism is an important economic sector globally. It represents over 10% of global GDP, and in the kingdom today, it's underrepresented. It only represents about 3%. It also employs one in 10 people worldwide. So the Red Sea Project is a tourism-focused destination. It's going to create 70,000 new jobs, and it's going to contribute over 22 billion real per year to the national economy. So through all of those, those things, it's going to help deliver on Vision 2030. And what are going to be some of the highlights of the project? Well, as I said, we're, we're focusing on luxury tourism. We're going to build 50 new hotels, a new international airport, a new town for the 35,000 people that are going to live and work there. Um, but I think the, the thing that really is a highlight for, for what we're doing is really setting new standards in sustainable development. We're going to be 100% reliant on renewable energy. That's solar and wind, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, totally off-grid. Never been done before on this scale any, anywhere in the world. We're going to be carbon neutral in our operations. We're going to have zero waste to landfill. We're going to ban single-use plastics, as you would expect. And as I tell people mostly that the environment is our most precious asset in the entire project. And it's the thing that we're going to work the hardest to safeguard because if I, if I damage my, my environment, I've lost it all. So we're going to take extra steps to make sure that we don't do that. It's fantastic. And what other messages may you have for the WTM audience today? Well, look, this is a, a fantastic event. It's, it's, it's hugely attended. For us, it's our first introduction into this space, and it's, uh, it was the show that we chose to be at because of the significance it holds within the tourism trade. Um, you know, these are the people that are ultimately going to help promote our destination when we open in 2022. So we're very pleased to be here and uh, represented at WTM. Thank you.